Did you hear that Star Wars Episode 9 is going through a script rewrite? There is no fight against the First Order. That Jessica Chastain confirmed her casting in the new X-Men movie? What about Netflix being in debt a massive 20 billion dollars? Yeah. That's right. No? We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe for more great content. And you guys may have noticed that we recently hit 15 million subscribers. So, to say thank you, we are giving away our WatchMojo publishing products for free for a limited time. That's right, check out the link in the description to sign up and get your free stuff. Number 3. Star Wars Episode 9 is getting a rewrite. Although there's a problem on the horizon, there's no horizon. Here we go again. Just like its predecessor Rogue One, Episode 9 is going through the ringer. At least when it comes to the script. I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Quiet. Oh. The Hollywood Reporter obtained information that writer Jack Thorne has been hired to rewrite an unknown amount of the script that Jurassic World director Colin Trevorrow and writing partner Derek Connolly finished. This is happening! With or without you. According to The Hollywood Reporter, executives of the production said a fresh set of eyes were needed. Thorne has an impressive resume in television, having won BAFTA awards for his work on The Fades and This Is England 88. The news of the hiring comes off the heels of the bad reviews from Trevorrow's latest movie, The Book of Henry, which many critics and audiences panned. I'm gonna pretend all this didn't happen. Some Star Wars fans even signed a petition to have him fired from directing Episode 9. The film hasn't even started shooting yet, with a release date set for May 24, 2019. Hey Solo, I'm not sure what we're walking into. Did you just call me Solo? Sorry, hot, Mr. Solo. Number 2. Jessica Chastain confirms X-Men Dark Phoenix role. You saw it, didn't you? The glory of what's to come. Looks like those initial talks proved successful. According to Jessica Chastain's Instagram account, the Oscar-nominated actress has officially signed on to the newest installment of the mutant franchise, X-Men Dark Phoenix. <laughs> Alex, what do you take me for? Some kind of pervert? I, y yes, I looked her up once. Twice, but not in a long time, all right? As the cinephiles previously reported, Chastain was in talks with the production to play Lalandra Naramani, the main villain of the film. The studio nor Chastain has actually divulged what role she will be playing, but judging by the semi-cryptic message of, I'm gonna make you cry so hard devil emoji, to James McAvoy, one can only imagine that she'll be playing the villainess. You're not gonna like what'll happen once I get involved. Her likely character Lalandra is the alien empress of the Shi'ar Empire, who, after Jean Grey loses control as Dark Phoenix, seeks to destroy her. The film which boasts an all-star cast of McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, and Sophie Turner, just to name a few, is set for release November 2nd, 2018. I'll get into it. Before we get to our final entry, here are a couple new releases. We heard gunfire coming from the area near the Algiers. Police was there. There was a lot of shooting. These visions, as you call them. What do you see? I see a tower. The man in black. And the gunslinger. They're just dreams. They're not real, Jake. Number one. Netflix is $20 billion in debt. Nope. You heard right. That was $20 billion. With a B. You think I don't know that? It is crazy! Netflix is the giant of streaming services, but in attaining that goal, have racked up some pretty substantial debt, in part due to a massive push in original programming to compete with rivals Amazon and Hulu. Someone is watching. Here. Someone is always watching. According to the Los Angeles Times, second quarter SEC filings revealed that the streaming service has built up a staggering $20.54 billion in long-term debt, despite roping in 104 million subscribers, a 25% increase from last year. The majority of that debt has gone towards originals that aren't actually produced in-house, with Netflix having to pay licensing fees to companies like Lionsgate and Sony Pictures Television for producing shows like Orange is the New Black and The Crown. What? Despite their massive debt, the LA Times says Netflix execs aren't worried, with one saying, that's a lot of capital up front, and then you get a payout over many years. Are you actually believing this crap? The question is, how many years exactly? I don't know! Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.